Hmm. You're recording now. You're actually recording. Hello, guys. For those of us just now joining us, we have a tag team bout between Anderson and Gallows and the Mistaraj, which is Bo, ja Bo, Bo Dallas. Sorry, guys. Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. And right now, it looks like uh, it looks like Anderson and Gallows are in a tight spot between the Mistaraj. Bro Dallas holding on with everything with, with Carl Anderson. Alright. Looks like Curtis Axel just made a tag. Anderson trying to get back to Gallows. He couldn't make the tag in time due to interference between Axel and Dallas. Now Axel taking control of the match against Anderson. Anderson just taking one hellacious beating from both Dallas and. Axel. And Axel with the drop kick. Curtis Axel getting very pumped up for this match, apparently. And the guy was looking to be the legal man. And Dallas, of course, keeping Anderson at bay. And now a DDT by Axel. Bo Dallas going for the pin, and Anderson kicks out. Gallows is waiting impatiently to get in this ring. Bo Dallas now again with another hold. Well, you know, this crowd here in Cleveland, they're used to chanting for a comeback. Their teams are usually behind. So, Big time Anderson with a bu spine buster. A little bit dazed. I'm not sure he knows where he is. Gallo's hungry to get in. Anderson tag. makes the tag to Gallo's. Gallo's, Gallo's and Anderson are now in the ring. And then Gallo's going after Bo Dallas. Gallo's fired up. Gallows, uh, Gallows going after uh, Curtis. Ooh, excellent kick to the head by Gallows. My God. You could have heard that one all the way in the cheap seats. And now going with the pump handle slam is Gallows. Now Gallows is getting momentum. Gallows with a, with a big splash. Tagged to Anderson. And now they're wanting to execute their moves, and there it goes. Anderson going for the count, and Dallas breaks it up. Lou Gallows now, and Dallas are getting into it. Oh, damn. Excellent kick by Gallows. And now Axel going for another... Oh, never mind. He's going for that infamous Fisherman suplex. And excellent counter by Anderson. Carl Anderson looking to fly. Will he succeed? Don't waste time. There he goes. Neck breaker. Tag to Gallows. <laughs> there it is. Gallo's looking for the pin. One, two, and three, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Winners of the tag match, obviously, are Carl Anderson and Luke Gallo's, the Good Brothers. Defeating the Mistourage. This is very, this is very entertaining watching all this. Earlier. Again, we are two weeks away from WrestleMania, and we talked about this earlier. Oscar, who was successful in a matchup earlier on tonight, won the first ever Women's Royal Rumble match, which means she can pick the champion <laughs> of her choice to face at WrestleMania. She picks SmackDown's champion, Charlotte Flair. 
what does Charlotte have to say about this? Well, earlier today, Charlotte sent out a tweet. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard correctly. Oscar from Raw is challenging the SmackDown Women's Champion, the Queen herself, Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 34. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to see that hellacious title match. And Elias apparently may be coming up next. Let's see and find out what this what this person has to say. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have Elias Samson entering the ring. God only knows what he what he's what he's got on his mind. Hello, little buddy. How you doing? <laughs> it's like really it's a crazy annoying. Lady. <laughs> well, that's what I think anyway. <laughs> Remember, you guys send that to me through Facebook when you're done. All right. So I can upload it to YouTube. Here Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Here we go, guys. Who wants to walk with the lions? I don't think nobody wants to, sir. I want to walk my dick over your face and smack you with my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's Jekyll There are those who walk and those who do not walk yet. But in 13 short days on the grandest stage of them all, I will be giving the greatest performance of a lifetime. And it is on that night at WrestleMania that the entire world will know what everyone here in their hearts knows. That WWE stands for. I said WWE stands for. As long as it's not that damn commercial again. <laughs> <I feel> electric. <laughs> so, <laughs> just last week, I sold out Madison Square Garden in New York City. If you can imagine coming to Cleveland is a huge disappointment. So many people hating on Cleveland, man. Like, come on now. Well, they got the Browns who suck, they got the Indians who suck, and they got the, the football team who suck. Remember, man, we got people possibly going to watch this stuff. Possibly from that area. Just like I will leave tonight... LeBron is going to leave you all again. Because That's interesting. Fact, trust me. Now, as much as I don't want to be here, I did write a song. Oh, of course you did. It would be a tragedy if I didn't sing it. So yes, it would. No, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't be a tragedy. Right now, I need you all to silence your cell phones. Hold your applause. And most importantly, shut your mouth. Ooh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the cringe of all cringiness. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on now. Seriously, how bad are the Browns? Elias trying to be funny, apparently. Ooh, we got Rhino. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we are ready for a gore. Or don't you agree? I saw nine inch nails and queens of the stone age in this building. That was obnoxious. Please let it be Rhino going after him. Legends are enshrined in the WWE 
Hall of Fame. Tickets are still available in New Orleans. You get the opportunity to see Goldberg. Well, apparently the next match is Elias Simpson versus Rhino. And Rhino now put, oh, Elias kicks, kicks Rhino right in the gut. Now everybody receiving chops. And Rhino just taking, damn, Rhino just, do you want earplugs? <laughs> Rhino just dominating the match, for the time being anyway. Well, right to the face from Elias. And Elias just shows the big man down. And now Elias just viciously stomping on Rhino. And I'm assuming Elias is trying to get momentum here. Oh, Rhino dodges that. Keep it late at 300. It keeps the whole house warm. And now Rhino with vicious shots to Elias. And Elias trying to take over again, but Rhino puts a stop to it. And now Rhino in, in, uh, with another shove. No, God, I hope not. And now Rhino, whoa. Elias counters with the kick to the face. And now Elias with the clothesline. And now Elias looking to Fisherman's. Oh, no, no, never mind. Elias with the pin. And unfortunately, Elias, Elias Samson wins over Rhino. Bullshit. Baby bag bullshit, my friend. Uh, <laughs> up next, ladies and gentlemen. Well, sorry about that. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have John Cena versus Kane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Right now to sign up and enjoy WrestleMania as part of your 30 day free trial. After weeks and weeks of chaos, brawls, and madness, they will finally battle. Oh, yes. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal Championship. Another favorite match of mine I can't wait to see. Shinsuke Nakamura versus... Oh, come on. Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. And like I said earlier, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair, or Flair, sorry, versus Oscar. Apparently I can't talk tonight, guys. I'm sorry. And then, of course, the next women's championship match is Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax. <laughs> and then, of course, the next tag match between Stephanie McMahon and Triple H against Rowdy Ronda Rousey and the WWE Raw General Manager and Hall of Famer. Kurt Angle. Superdome, it is WrestleMania. Go to WWE Network.com right now to sign up and enjoy WrestleMania. 
and enjoy WrestleMania as part of your 30-day free trial. Now, we know the matches we just told you about are happening, among others, but there is one match we're not sure that's going to happen, and that would be a match involving John Cena, who right now has no path to WrestleMania. But John Cena has made it perfectly clear over the past couple of weeks there is one man he wants in WrestleMania. That's a dead man. For the past couple of weeks, John Cena has been doing everything in his power to get to WrestleMania. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, John Cena has been trying to get a match with the, with the, with the Phenom, the Undertaker. I'm sorry to all you John Cena fans, but John Cena is acting like a little bitch, being so desperate to try and get to WrestleMania. And then, of course, the match leading up, or this moment that leads up to tonight's main event between Cena and Kane. Kane choke slams Cena straight to hell. We shall find out. Welcome, welcome back, guys. For next week, it's going to be Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. Next week is going to be amazing. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The main event for tonight's Monday Night Raw. And out, and out first comes John Cena. 16-time World Heavyweight Champion. Huh. John Cena always trying to suck the crowd up. It's no, it's a no disqualification match between John Cena. And Kane. And John Cena's 
down to Mount Tala, special guest from Ellen DeGeneres. John Cena bringing it out here tonight as he prepares for this no disqualification battle with Kane. Yeah, he had an incredibly busy, emotional week in Los Angeles, but now he is back, focused here tonight, and his focus boys are trying to find a road to WrestleMania. Well, he wants The Undertaker, but instead tonight, he gets The Undertaker's brother. I think I think John I think John jumped a couple of inches off the ground, guys. <laughs> Here comes the big red machine. The, the, the devil's favorite demon. And Kane just punching away. Now Cena comes back with a couple of right hands. And now Kane with a big boot. And Kane just shoving Cena out of the ring. And the Undertaker chants are starting. Yes, indeed, Cena has. Uh, all true. And it seems like fans are kind of uh, right down the middle. Some would love to see him come back, and the others would question what kind of shape is he in? What would we see? What version of The Undertaker would we see if indeed he did come back for WrestleMania? Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Champion. Kane, a former world champion in his own right. Kane's kind of tubby. Did you know that? Well, I mean, he hasn't been wrestling for a while. I mean, you ain't even commenting on your video. You're just watching it. Because I'm trying to get to the good points, man. I don't judge you whenever you do your shit. <laughs> what I do? Mm -mm. <sighs> Kane still in control of the match for the time being. And now Cena fighting back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now Cena using a steel chair. Stunning Kane for a little bit, and now he's using part of the barricade, and Cena just hit Kane with that barricade. Cena got in mind here. Get the hell out of the way, Corey. This is not good. 
John Cena looking to, to injure Kane, to, to harm Kane tonight. Now, see, whoop, Kane retaliates with the uppercut. And now a suplex by Kane onto the barricade. To your point, Coach, Cena's willing to go to the lengths we've never seen before. John Cena's never I think I heard Kane more than it hurt freaking Cena. And now Kane in control of things for the time being. And Kane throwing Cena over the over the barrier. Back toward the ring. Kane had set up steel steps in the entranceway, and then this happened. Downright chaos. Well, Corey, you question whether or not John Cena would be focused on tonight and not just on the Undertaker WrestleMania. I think now it's pretty clear if he's not focused on tonight. And now I guess Kane's looking to take, take care of the uh, turnbuckle, or take off the protected pad over the turnbuckle, sorry. Soon he's trying to suck out Kane. And Cena looking for is it? And Cena looking for the five knuckle shuffle. And of course, you can't see me. Five knuckle shuffle. And now Kane goes into the turnbuckle first. And Cena just mocking the Undertaker, mocking Kane as well. And now I guess Cena's going to try and attempt a choke slam, and he does it. One, two, nope, Kane kicks out. And now Cena looking to go into the ring to look for a weapon of some sort. Wonder what he's going to pull out. And he pulls out a table. I love fries with fly. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, this is not fair. I don't know that John Cena has ever worked so hard in his life for a yes or a no. And now Cena looking to t uh, to set up the table. And now with the table again ready to go. Kane's still laid out. And now it's there he is. And Kane with the boot to the gut for the bread basket. And now Kane looking to slam Cena through the table. And now Cena looking to F. Uh, Attitude of or AA the hell out of uh, Kane. And Kane put the table. Now Kane with him to set up the table. Or no, dismantle it and put it, pro possibly prop it up against the corner. Now Kane stomping at Cena. So preoccupied with the Undertaker, it almost cost him this matchup. Yes. Look at now, uh, with the table uh, placed in the corner by Kane. Cena and Cena looking to, to retaliate. Kane with another boot to the midsection. Cena goes to the table. 
Cain literally threw Cena into the table. And now Cain's looking to looking get the, the pin. Two. And, so, and of course Cena kicks out. I've never seen Cena of this. I've never seen Cena thrown through a table like that before. And now Kane looking to go outside. And now Kane looking for a weapon. And Kane is pulling out another table. And now Kane trying to set up the table. Kane looking for the choke slam. Cena counters. And now Kane, or Cena, sorry. Cena looking for an attitude adjustment and puts Kane through the table. Two and three. Cena is the winner of this match. Well, I wonder if we'll ever get an answer. Kane was looking to avenge the Undertaker's honor and unfortunately fell short. And now Cena looking to again no mock the Undertaker. No Undertaker. This is a match with no rules. Anything can happen and anyone can be here. Where are you? <sighs> Cena is desperate to get a, to get a match with a dead man. And now the Undertaker chance are starting. WWE Universe literally on its feet, chanting for the Undertaker. And Cena's still trying to get under the Undertaker's skin. City after city. Sold out crowd after sold out crowd. They chant your name. You don't get to be mysterious here. Silence is not an answer. 
It's either yes or it's no. <laughs> and now the yes channels are happening. I'm fine with no because I will go to WrestleMania as a fan. But get your eyes out of the back of your head and look at the energy when they chant yes, when they chant Undertaker, when they chant do something for God. What are they saying? Do something. Do something! Because now, you only have one week left. One week that sums up your entire career. You can do something. Or you can do nothing. And if you do nothing, you let me down. Sure as hell let Kane down. But most importantly, you've made it crystal clear to every single person who has ever believed in The Undertaker that you do not care about them. You care only about Come on, yourself. John, don't do that. Do not do that. I hope for the sake of all that is good inside this ring, I see you next week. Clearly, frustrated. Uh, uh.